Hey guys, how's it going? Firebox here. I want to show off how I made about 1,000 gold per hour on my rogue. And I'm going to tell you, this is by far the easiest class that I have played with and made so much money almost effortlessly. It's the first class that I was able to buy the stash tab. I'm going to go over everything in this video, my perks, my final build, because right now this is the build I was using at the start, but I do change it later. I'm going to show the spots that I looted in the dungeon so you too can make some money on your rogue. It's not as bad in PvP as some people think it is, but it definitely takes some work to win those fights. I did a stream for about four hours, and by the end of it, I had gotten my stash tab with an additional 1,000 gold in ore that I ended up selling after this. Let's go ahead and get into how I made all of this money. All right, first things first, as you probably expected from the stash that I shared you, we are going to be focusing on mining. Right now, one ruby silver ore sells for 20 gold per piece. There are some locations that just have so much ore, it's absurd. This is going to be one of them. This is the high roller variant of the map. We are playing normals because paying 75 gold to mine would just be silly. Now, this area down here... Between this room and all the way looping up here to the left, there is just ruby silver ore everywhere. You'll see here that I made 30 ruby silver ore in this run, meaning that I sold it for 600 gold. And in this one, I got even more. And remember, every single stack sells for 100 gold, which I don't think I have to tell you is significantly more than any amount of money that you're going to make farming normal dungeons, looting chests and mobs. This is the second spot that I want to show. This is the mixed map variants, and I think it's important to note that remember, normal map has three different layouts. The layout I just showed you is only on high roller. This one is on the middle map. Granted, this is on high roller too, but it's not the most efficient place to mine. So for the mixed map, I'm going to recommend that you come here to this middle area. You can run to this rock here. There's always going to be two ruby silver here. And you can jump down and mine the ruby silver down. Just be careful. This is a very high traffic area. So if you are going to mine here, just know that you're going to have to assume the risk that comes with PvP. Just keep an ear out for other players' footsteps. The third spot I'm going to recommend that you mine is this area which I'm sure we all know is from the normal goblin map. This area, again, is not as good as the high roller variant I showed in the first one, but you can get a decent bit of ruby silver and cobalt ore. Cobalt is an option, but it's only going to sell for about 10 gold per, so it's just not going to be quite as good. Now, I did want to show this off real quick. You pay 3,000 gold, and you do unlock a full additional tab. After some trial and error, I decided on these perks and skills for Rogue. These seem to be the best ones that you can choose. This makes you strong in PvP. It also allows you to quickly go through the PvE. I'm going to recommend that you take Jokester because plus two wall is really good. Ambush, and you'll see why here in a little bit, why we're taking Invis perks without hide. Shadow Runner, and Poisoned Weapon. Now, I've decided on these because they just give general utility, and I think they're the strongest perks that you can take right now. I'm also going to recommend Weak Points and Rupture. The reason that I recommend not taking Hide is right now, Rogue needs all the help you can get if you're going to win 1v1 fights. And I think Hide and taking all these perks to make Hide viable just isn't really worth it. So instead... I am going to recommend that you take Invis Pots in order to proc your Ambush and Shadow Runner, and take Ale, because this is going to increase your strength by 11, and considering Rogue starts with very low strength, if you're a starter kit, this is basically doubling your strength, and it's really, really good. This is going to take away that negative damage bonus, and it's also going to increase the damage that Rupture is dealing, because it does that physical damage, and, not to mention that, Weak Point also is going to make Rupture stronger because they're going to have less armor rating, meaning that they're going to take more whole damage, letting you kill PDR fighters just a little bit easier. For stats, my current build is not perfect. Really, you're going to want Strength, 
you want to get to the 38 agility because jokester will bring you up to 40 and 40 is the soft cap where you start not gaining as much speed per agility the more strength and weapon damage slash physical power that you can get on gear such as this the better your life is going to be with that out of the way let's go ahead and get into the pvp so i can show you what you want to do during your fights I did want to commentate over this first PvP fight. First thing you want to do is use your ale. Second is to use your invis pot, which is going to proc your ambush and speed. Don't be afraid to use multiple in a fight. Once you get a chance to close the gap, go in there and just hit them with your rapier. And it should work out just fine. Here again, I'm going to show I see another barbarian, which is a really hard matchup. If you have protection potions, that's even better. Use that. Use your ale again. Use your invis pot. Now, if a barbarian uses both rage and war cry, back away. Wait for it to be over so you're not trying to beat like 230 health. Then at that point, use another invis pot and go in and finish off the fight when they have less HP. I do hear a wizard. Now, these are really scary. Look how much damage this magic missile does to me. You have to be really, really careful when you're dealing with these. Because as a rogue, I swear, you just get melted by everything. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, sub to the channel if you're new, and comment below any suggestions that you might have. I hope this strategy of making money works out for you, and I want to thank Gamatron, Kid Brutal, and Old Duck for supporting this video, alongside our other members. Thank you all. Have a good day.